These are my tools to create awesome PS3 tutorials. Let's do this. Hey guys, this is Versatile from Project Phoenix Media. In today's video tutorial, I'm going to show you how to find Multiman and install it for your jailbroken PS3. Maybe you recently purchased a jailbroken PS3, maybe you got one given to you, or maybe you recently used the PS3 exploit and jailbroken your PS3. Whatever the case may be, Multiman is an awesome program to use as it allows you to manage your homebrew games or games that you've copied or backed up and you can play it off of internal or external hard drives as well and you can also use it as a tool to make copies of your PS3 games as well which is a pretty cool feature so anyways where do you get it so what you want to do is go online to store.brewology.com I'll have a link in the video description and at this particular website you go to homebrew there's a lot of great programs here so even though we're talking about multi-man today if there's something else that you like to use by all means go ahead and download it so let's go back to multi-man and we're gonna go to multi-man version 4.82.00 click on here and then go ahead and download this latest release which is the base release I already downloaded that it's a package file and I already put it on my USB thumb drive so let's go to my USB thumb drive real quick here and it's formatted fat32 and just dump it in the root of your USB thumb drive. Don't put it inside the folder. Just dump it to the root and you're good to go. Once you've copied it over, all you gotta do is just literally eject your thumb drive. So let's go ahead and do that. Eject the thumb drive. And then plug it into your PS3 on the rightmost USB port nearest to your um, CD disk drive, basically. And then with that said, let's jump into the next portion of the video tutorial. And I'll show you how to install it using the package manager and also how to run the program and some cool features about it. So let's do this. Okay, so this next portion of the video tutorial, I'm gonna show you how to install Multiman. But before we do that, let's make sure that Cobra mode is enabled under your Rebug Toolbox. So let's go ahead, go to Games, go to Package Manager, go to Install Package Files, go to System Storage, and make sure that Rebug Toolbox, you already installed it or click it to install it, which I've already done. So now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go ahead and run the actual toolbox and I'll show you what to do. So once the Rebug Toolbox is loaded, go to the right hand side to the selector and just start to scroll down all the way to the bottom and just make sure that your uh, toggle cover mode is enabled. Um, and that's pretty much it for the most part. And if you wanna mimic my settings, you can certainly do that as well. Once you've done that, let's go ahead and quit and go back to the X and B screen. So once you're here, now what you want to do is go to Package Manager, go to Install Package Files, go to Standard, and go ahead and install Multiman that we downloaded earlier today. So once that is completed, let's go ahead and run the actual Multiman program itself. So when you run Multiman for the first time, you'll see these screens. Go ahead and say press yes to all of them. So once you've floated Multiman, it's going to have this theme music on by default. I don't really like the music, so I'm going to go ahead and disable it by going under settings and go all the way down to theme audio. And say disable. Once you have done that, now, now you can do whatever you want from here. So Multiman is a file manager, so you press L1 and R1. Sorry, uh, I think it's one of these. Um, shortcut, of course, is go to MMCM and go to File Manager. But you can also use R1, L1 to sort of navigate through the different themes. Anyways, let's say that you have a game disk. So right now I have Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 inserted. And let's say you want to make a backup copy of your game. So what you can do, you can press Triangle. And you can say, you know, go down to Create ISO. And then it'll tell you, do you want to, you know, save it to your internal hard drive or do you want to save it to like a USB device? So I'll go ahead and pick one of those options. It's going to start ripping it. And then after that's done, it'll be in your game library that you can select from the main menu. What I'm going to do real quick here is I'm going to unplug my USB thumb drive. 
and plug in my external hard drive and show you how that process works. So I just plugged in my external external hard drive and we'll just wait for it uh, a little bit here to load. Um, this is currently a one terabyte hard drive. I know some of my friends and other gamers, they have larger hard drives um, to store their game library, which is pretty cool. But anyways, the idea is um, when you have your game stored on the hard drive, now when you load your games with Multiman, it'll think your game is uh, emulated on the disc. So you load a game, uh, PS3 thinks it's actually a disc game, but in reality it's actually loaded off of your external hard drive or made internal hard drive as well. So let's say that I'm in the mood for playing some Mortal Kombat today, so I'm going to go ahead and select the game off my external hard drive. And then it's going to go ahead and basically mount the game for us. And then when you're back at the X and B screen, all you got to do is scroll up, select your game, and press the X start it, and get ready to have a lot of good times. So that is today's video game multi-man tutorial. If you guys have any nitpicky questions, leave a comment here on the YouTube page and I'll get back.